Okay, so let me. This mouse is very nice. Um, let me try and zoom in a little there. And you see the mouse here. Uh, there's not a physical surface like some of them. It just looks like an old part of the, the laptop, uh, but it's actually a small little um, like a dent in it. Very nice. So I'm going to reposition the camera to get it closer in on the laptop. I'm going to leave the default setup for now. I know it's US, but uh, leave that for now. Set the clock. Okay, so there we go. It's a little bit of Vista now. Let's have a look at how this remote control. So I'm actually going to um, go and open this, keep keep it the way. The remote control there just fits in the, in the bay there, and it's got uh, some media center, got numeric buttons on there, uh, the DVD buttons, and everything else. So we've got um, on the front, we've got. Uh, dual array microphones, which are up here. We've got um, a webcam and a webcam light. We've got a webcam rotator, it says, so if we can uh, somehow rotate this, I'm not quite sure about that. Oh, yeah, we can. Um, so I'll we'll look at that a bit later. We've got internal display switch, so I'll look at that. Uh, touchpad which we've seen, that that's the touchpad on there, the remote control and uh, the speakers. We've got an array of buttons on here, uh, as I mentioned before, so we've got a quick play button. If anybody's used a HP machine with the quick play on before these launch, HP's own uh, media center UI, uh, which has which is quick call, quick play. We've got a media button, we've got DVD buttons on there, we've got a TV play button, uh, transport control, Fingerprint, theatre mode button, uh, wireless, volume, treble and bass, and the optical drive button. And uh, the eject button which is on the side there which is quite nice. So uh, this is loading up for the first time. So I'm going to log in with the test account. And it's running Windows Vista Ultimate Edition. So now it's installing HP's uh, custom software. I'll tell you that uh, sound sounds really nice to speak on this sound really nice. See what this set custom setup routine is like. Okay, I'm going to register later because I'm not actually going to register. The winner can register. Uh, so let's. Go off here. is loaded, or loading I should say. I'm going to get the, connect the network off. This is uh, a charger at the moment. Looks like we've got uh, Norton pre-installed. If it were me personally, I'd probably uninstall Norton and put on um, some like AVG, like the lightweight ones better. But first, before we, uh, let's, once this is loaded up, we'll just have a quick I'm not even going to put this on the internet now, right now. Let's 
this fire up. Media center. Okay, I'll run a custom setup. So, I've just done the express setup there. So there's media center, you can see it's a really clear, uh, beautiful looking screen. It's very, probably didn't pick it up as good on there. If there's any content we can have a quick look at just to uh, to see what media centers like okay we've got the standard stuff in there so let's uh, try a bit of it vertigo it's a beautiful looking screen you can adjust the angle on that quite nicely so you can get that the best angle you want. Sound on it sounds superb as well. Really good quality audio. Let's try something else. Really great that. Let's have a look if there's any uh, music on there. Great sound, let me try to do a bit more dynamic. Go into more detail on this on a future video, and you can have a, a look around it and just see uh, to see what it's got on it. But uh, so the some the specs, it's Vista Ultimate Intel Core 2 Extreme, uh, running at 2.8 gigahertz, 4 gig of RAM, and a GeForce 8800M GTS. And just let's quickly see if we can see the Vista Index on that. Uh, this is running the 64-bit version as well of Windows. Uh, 5.1 on the Vista Index, that's pretty good, let's have a look at that, so the processor gets 5.6, memory 5.1, graphics 5.9, game graphics 5.8, hard disk 5.2, pretty good stuff from there. So you see, this is a nice machine, I'm going to come back to it in more detail in the video, but I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video. So that's the HP machine. Well, future videos, I'll look at the um, things like battery life. Thanks for watching this video. So, if you want to win this machine, watch the digitallifestyle.com and you'll see entries about this and uh, other websites giving away these machines. There's 31 of these being given away. Thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.